Well, hello everyone, and here with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Bionicle uh, review, and today we are reviewing uh, Nadiki from 2004, a Titan set of 2004. So in the front of the large booklet is the logo, BionicleWeb.com, picture of Nadiki in a large pose, set numbers 8622, the name, and the lo Lego logo on the back. Is DV for the second movie, how to win on the online survey, and old ad for Legoland. Big, large, interesting ad of all the Vaki together, and screenshots of the movie. And then ad for all the Vaki sets and his contribution, contribution part to the ultimate end in the middle of which. Is ad for Kreka and Taranga Duma Niva, and then the Ultimate Duma set, which a little thing to note is which they sold as an actual set and had this special mask piece that works for the head part of it, which was interesting for the time. And same with the three Titan sets in 2005 and in 2006 as well. At least it had one thing exclusive to, to it, which and the other two didn't, but were just repackaged and everything. And then the opening ad, of which is how to operate the two main features of it. And also this photo, of which is kind of wrong, has the water one, but the actual one of which, the actual one is an earth one. I'm not sure why that is, but whatever. So onto the set himself. And well, storyline wise of him is that he used to be a Toa set, which was partnered with Toa Leecon until betrayed him or something and became a large crab titan or spider crab titan form. So the legs of which, which has the same feature as uh, what or what his claws also have. And a couple of 2005 Titan sets. All we have is that little feature that snaps in and out and has the light staves acting as legs. And the legs in the lower area that still has the like, they're all technic pin beams and pins and all. But also metro feet to the sides. And then one of those kind of things out to the front to make sure it doesn't go forward all the way and metro waste there still and also it does have a usual special design that has carry off for some time where it has those uh, corner bracket pieces but extend out and hold little things in them which although I did see some people use that in mocks so I guess he was thoughtful for that was probably the inspiration for that and what these uh, little pins sticking out are not sure what for probably just to hold on for the com large combination model but back onto the front of which which has a borak call chest or shield for a chest plate and the metro armor also has also for the chest plate and borak pieces for shoulder piece blades and to the arms of which made of uh, a dark green Vaki limb and some other of those corner technic pieces and the same features where you can snap them in and out. Kind of like how on the film we're in the like, do it. it oh, it's pretty cool for that. But the head area, oh, it's just the same as all the Vaki sets, but with the green feature, but of what's exclusive is the great headpiece. And what's different with him is how he uses uh, this kind of axle one, when the others of which used a too long one. And just like all the other ones can shoot like so. And also glow in the dark. Obviously. And, uh, what else is there to say? Uh, not much, but yeah. 
So on to the final verdict on this side of Overall, he which uh this uh, which a uh, pretty interesting cool character to Bonkle at the time and did become somewhat a fan favorite to many and still and to this day still one of my favorite Bond characters in general. But not just for that reason, but also for him being like the smart one of the Krakenadiki duo. And if you still have this set from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of him. And for those who haven't, well, and still have access to this, to him, well, go ahead and get it. Like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video, and thanks for watching.